Galatians 3 is about the unity of the people of God under threat of the radical disunity of saying Jew over there, Gentile over there. That is the number one point that Paul is making in that context at that time. Mm. It's clear from the rest of Paul's writings that he knows that Jewish identity still actually matters. If you read Romans 11, mm. is, you know, when uh, has God forsaken his people, he doesn't say, well, why are we still thinking about Jew and Gentile? He says, yeah, I too am a Jew, an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, etc., etc. Um, uh, that that's that's still important. It's just that it doesn't matter for membership in the family that he's talking about in in Galatians three. So there's a sort of a toing and froing depending on which question you're asking. Likewise, male and female. There is no male and female, which is an allusion there to Genesis one twenty six following um, in in Galatians three twenty eight. Um, that doesn't mean that elsewhere in Paul. Um, he says that gender differences are completely erased. Far from it. Um, he, he wants those to be celebrated, but in terms of membership in the body of Christ, and this is, of course, part of the point of saying that circumcision isn't the badge, because um, that was male circumcision, and so if that's not the badge, then it isn't that the males wear the badge and the females have to go along with it. It's now that we're, the ground is even because males and females get baptised, etc. So that once, once you see what he's saying, that doesn't immediately translate into any particular form of social policy. I mean, um, the, the kind of issues you raise, it seems to me, are quite different and have to do more with how you relate gospel imperatives mm. to the law of the land. Mm. Um, and those are important questions, but if I was going to answer those or address those questions, I wouldn't necessarily start with Galatians 3. I would want to remind the church um, that when you're meeting for worship at the Lord's table, then Galatians three is Galatians two and three is what matters. That everyone who believes belongs at the same table, no matter what their background and context and ancestry and ethnicity and skin colour is. Um, but that then, when it comes to saying, how do we handle the fact that we have lots of illegal migrants? Do we campaign for the law to be changed? Do we campaign for the government to behave better to people who are in this dire situation? Or do we say, well, at a certain point, like some people in Britain say, we're a tiny island. There isn't just room for another 50,000 people to come here every year. You know, we're at saturation point. Um, you know, that, that's, that's a thing many countries have said at many times in the past. And, but those are issues which can't be addressed simply by Galatians 3. It's just that when the church is being the church, it must be sure to make 328 its, its rule of life. Mm -hmm.